Hi guys, today we are going to discuss the concept of binary to decimal and decimal to binary. Let us see so how do you are going to convert binary to decimal and decimal to binary. Bit manipulation. Bit manipulation involves operations on individual bits within a binary representation of data. It's commonly used in computer science for various tasks like optimization, encryption, compression and low level programming. Bit is the smallest unit of data and can have one of two values either 0 or 1 or the combination of 1s and zeros. It represents a binary digit. A byte is a group of 8 bits. Bytes are commonly used as the fundamental unit of storage in different computer systems. They can have represent 256 to power of 8 different values. Ranging from 0 to 255, bytes are often used to store characters, integers and other types of data in computer memory. Converting decimal to binary. Converting a decimal to binary involves repeatedly dividing the decimal number by 2 and keep tracking of the remainders. Here, there is a step by step process. Let us convert the decimal number 25 to binary. Divide 25 by 2. So, and here you are going to get the quotient is 12 and the remainder is 1. So, in order to perform this one, we are going to perform the modulo division each and every time. So, next, here you have the quotient, so which is 12. So, and again divide the 12 by 1 and which is going to result 6 and here you will be getting the remainder is 0. So next again divide the 6 by 2 and you will be getting the quotient is 3 and the remainder will be the 0. So next you are going to divide the 3 so by 2 so 2 ones are 2 and the remainder will be 1. So now here you need to take this particular values so because 2 cannot able to divide the value 1 so because 1 is a smaller number 2 is a larger number. So now what we are doing so we are going to take the bottom to top so here we are going to take from bottom to top so which is one one double zero one so in this manner you are going to take the value from bottom to top so here the binary number will be resulting double one zero double one so now to convert the binary number to decimal you must multiply each digit by two power of n where n is the position of the digit counting from right to left Starting at the position 0 for the rightmost digit and then sum the results. Let us convert the binary number 11011 to decimal. Starting from the rightmost digit, the position of each digit is 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 and so on. So let us convert each and every number by 2 power of n. So here you have the particular bit so which we have got by doing the division by 2. So now we are going to take the approach double one double zero one so from right to left so here you are having a one so one into two power of zero which is going to result as one this is the first step we are going to take so next we are going to take the next bit so here the bit will be zero into two power of one so which is going to result zero so next so it came to the next bit so which is 0 0 into 2 power of 2 so which is going to result 0 into 4 which will be 0 so next it has moved the position from right to left and 1 into 2 power of 3 which is going to result 8 so next 1 into 2 power of 4 which will be resulting 16 so now we are going to add all the resultants so 16 plus 8 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 so you will be getting the 25 next decimal to binary logic so take the decimal number to be converted so next initialize the set the variable to hold the binary result which will be empty repeat the division so it means you will be getting divided by 2 record the remainder which will be the least significant bit update the decimal number to be the quotient obtained from the division repeat this process until the quotient becomes 0 reverse the remainders after all divisions reverse the recorded remainder to get the binary representation so output the reversed remainder form the binary representation of the decimal number so which is going to result double one double zero one so now here what are the requirements in order to create a program so you need to use a scanner so because user has to enter any number in order to convert into the binary he may enter 25 he may enter 64 whatever the number he will be enter so it has to he has to enter the 
through the keyboard so for uh, that you need a scanner next define the class and method so without class you cannot able to write the java program so you need to define the class and method next initialize a particular string so b which is going to store all the bits which will be appended to the b so for example it will has to store in the uh, binary format so example here you are you are having the different values 1 1 0 0 1 so all the numbers has to be appended so then it will be accepted as a string so we need a string value to store all the values for that we are going to use a string b equal to empty initially it is will be string will be empty so use a if condition to return 0 if entered so if a 0 is entered so no need to convert into the binary so it has to be exited so now you need to write a logic so you are going to use a modulo division in order to get the remainder so for example here you have got the remainder whenever you are going to divide the 25 by 2 1 is the remainder so 1 in order to store the remainder so we are going to write the modulo logic append the particular bits whatever the remainder is there that has to be stored into the string so because here 1 is there so 1 should be appended and again 1 should be appended and 0 should be appended 0 should be appended and 1 should be appended so here we have to prepare the particular bit bit equal to bit b plus bit so bit is empty initially for example if you are going to consider bit is initially empty so now here we have got the 1 so now we have got the value of 1 so next what you are going to get the value next bit will has to be prepended so the next particular bit is 0 so next what is the value which we have got again it is 0 so next what is the value you have got again it is 1 so what is the last value you have got which is 1 so in this manner in order to store the particular number so you have to prepend that bit for that particular purpose we are going to use a logic b equal to b plus bit so if you are going to write b equal to bit plus b so we, we, it will be wrong so because we need it in a reverse order so we need to prepare the particular bit to the binary string this procedure should be done repeatedly until if n is greater than 0 so if n is less than 0 the condition will be failed and it has to return the stored bit whatever the stored bit is there in this particular string it has to return the particular string so here you are having a program so in this program we are going to going to convert a particular decimal number into the binary so here we are going to have a class binary to decimal so now user has to enter the number every program is going to start from the main so here user is going to ask scanner input enter an input value equal to new scanner system.in so if you are using a scanner you have to use a package called java.util.star so now here user is going to ask enter a decimal number he has to enter some decimal number so now he will be entering some number where the value should be stored so you need to declare the data type data type is integer by using this scanner object scanner object is input by using this particular input dot next int so because we are going to store the data type as a integer so input dot next int so now n is a variable which is going to store the input enter from the user so now here we are using a string b equal to decimal to binary which is n so what is n n is an input accepted by the user we are going to pass to this particular method so what is d to b d to b is a particular method which is going to accept one argument which is n so now it has to send this particular it has to send this particular value of n to this particular function function or a method so decimal to binary int n so it is going to accept one para parameter so it is going to accept in the format of string so it is accepting the string and it has to return the string so b is a final bit so whatever the decimal value is converted into the binary this particular value has to be returned by this particular function which is stored in the b and it is going to result 
So now let us see the logic inside this particular program. So here initially we have initialized the B is empty. So because the string B is empty, so it does not have any bits. For example, user has entered n equal to 0. So here you are asking enter a input. So user has entered 0. So it is going to return 0 and exiting from the program. So here we are going to use a while loop while if n greater than 0. If n is greater than 0, so then we are going to make a modulo division by 2. So 2 we are going to divide, you are going to get the value 1, 1 as a remainder. So where 1 should be stored? So 1 should be stored in this particular bit. So each and every time, what is b? So b is declared as a string which is initially empty. So now each and every time we have to prepare the particular bit. So already we have seen in this particular logic. So what is bit b equal to bit plus b? So it means initially the remainder is 1. So next what you are going to store? So in the next loop and again you are going to divide the number by so here you are going to divide the number by 2. So next it means you are going to divide the 12 by 2. It will become 6. What is the remainder? 0. 0 has to be prepared. So next again you are going to divide the 6 by 2. So the remainder is again 0. Again you are going to divide the particular value by 6. And again, the it, 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 6 means 3, the remainder is 0. So, and again, you are going to divide with 1. So, and again, you are going to divide with the uh, 1. So, 1 is the last bit which will be stored. So, here you have got the double one zero double one. So, finally, it is going to return the bit. So, which is double one double zero one. So, which is the converted value. Finally, here you are going to return the value of b. So, here you are going to return the value of b. The b will be returned to the and stored to the string. And finally, the binary representation will be given. So, now let us uh, compile this particular program. So, here you are going to give a uh, particular program decimal to binary. Already I have saved the program. Copy this particular program. java c space decimal to binary dot java so now java space decimal to binary so enter a number 25 so which has given a result double one double zero one so if i am going to give uh, a another number 10 so which is going to give one zero one zero so, if I am going to give a uh, particular number 128, so it is going to give the binary representation. So, all the numbers are 0. So, here if you are going to note, so 2 power of uh, 0, so 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 and 128. So, which is so, in this manner, you are going to convert decimal to binary. So, let us see how you are going to convert binary to decimal. Converting binary to decimal involves a straightforward logic considering that binary is a base 2 number system and decimal is a base 10 number system. Each digit in a binary number represents power of 2 starting from the rightmost digit logic to convert binary to decimal start from the rightmost bit of the binary number so here you will be having a rightmost number of this particular number so which is a double one double zero one so now what you are going to do so here you need to use the particular logic so double one double zero one from the rightmost bit to this one so now start from the rightmost digit of the binary number multiply the value of each digit by 2 power of n so it will be multiplied with 2 power of n where n is the position of the digit from right and starting with n equal to 0 for the rightmost digit 
sum up all the results from step 2 to get the decimal equivalent. So, step 2 is 2 power of n. So, to get the decimal equivalent, for example, if you are going to consider 1. So, 1 into 2 power of 0. So, what is 2 power of 0? 2 power of 0 is 1. So, now next convert the value of the second bit. So, which is 0. So, next which is 0. So, you will be getting the 0 into 2 power of 1. So, next the third bit. So, 0 into 2 to the power of 2. So, 0 into 2 to the power of 2, anything into 0 will be 0. Next, 1. 1 into 2 power of 3. So, 2 cube is 8. So, next. So, 1 into 2 to the power of 4. 2 to the power of 4 results 16. So, now sum all the digits. 16 plus 8 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1. So, which is going to result 25. So, now here. Yeah, you have given a particular binary number in base 2 and we have converted into decimal base 10 format. So, logic. So, here whatever the number you are going to give, so you have to convert into the power of 2. So, now here we are using a scanner input equal to new scanner system dot in. So, if you are using a scanner, you have to use a package java dot import dot util dot scan. So, next here we are going to use a binary number as a string so because the entered uh, the entered number will be in the binary format 1011 0011 so that particular string has to be stored so we cannot able to take an integer it has to be stored in the format of string so now whenever you are going to use a string you have to use input dot next line so where the string which is given so that will be take accepted as input so in a format of next line so because we are going to accept if you are going to accept in the format of integer input dot next int if you are using a float input dot next float if you are using a double input dot next number but you are using a string because of that reason input dot next line so next so that will be stored in the binary number so next you have given a integer decimal equivalent equal to binary to decimal so, what parameter you are passing, whatever the input entered by the user, binary number which is stored, so that we are, we are going to pass as an argument to the particular method binary to decimal. So, where binary to decimal method is existing, so here we are having a method called binary to decimal, so you are going to pass as an argument. So, whatever the number is accepted, so that one has accepted as an argument. So, now here we are going to use a int result equal to 0. Initially the result will be 0 and what you have to do? So, you have to multiply the power of 2 in the power of 2, 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 4 and so on. So, here we are we have declared the integer power of 2. So, it is initially 1. So, starting from the bit 1. So, at the position 1, we are going to consider power of 2 equal to 1. So, now here we are using a for loop for int i equal to b dot length. It means the length of an array minus 1. So, array is going to start from 0 to n minus 1. So, n minus 1th position we are going to initialize the array. So, here we are going to use a bottom up approach. Top to down approach means i equal to 0, i less than equal to 10, i plus plus. For example, bottom up approach means, so here we are going to check the condition, i is greater than equal to 0, so then decrement the loop. So here we are going to use if b dot character at i equal to 1. So it means character at position equal to 1. So if it is 1, indicates power of 2 should be added to the result. Now, result equal to result plus power of 2. So, only the power of 2 will be added, but you need to keep the track. So, what is the value which will be decremented? So, now the value of power of 2 equal to power of 2 into 2. So, this process should be repeated until the particular array, the value becomes greater than equal to 0. Up to 0, it will, 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 it will be done. If it, if it goes minus 1, so then it has to exit from the loop, it has to result the 
return the result the result will be return and where it is going to store so the return uh, the particular result will be initiated to this particular method so now the decimal equivalent so that particular result will be stored in decimal equivalent finally we are going to print the that the converted value of decimal binary number so to decimal is printed here so finally you are going to close the scanner scanner object is input input dot close so if you are going to execute this particular program the name of the program is binary to decimal so given a any binary number one zero double one so it is going to result a one so if you are going to enter a 10 so it is going to enter the value of 2 so because 10 is converted into the binary so 1 it will be treated as a string 1 0 so it is not, it not accepted as a 10 so next enter a binary number 1 0 1 1 so it means so 8 so 1 2 4 8 so it means 8401 format you are you will be using for example if i am going to use a notepad 8421 so it means what value i have given 1011 so so 1 means 8 0 means 4 1 1 it means what 8 plus 2 10 and which is going to result the 11 so now 11 is printed on the screen so in this manner you can able to convert the values of a binary to decimal and decimal to binary if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel thanks for watching